What's good, YouTube? Welcome back, part four of our property vlog. This is the coronavirus episode, so loads of stuff happened in this episode. Yeah, so we like lost tenants because of it. Had tenants that uh, had their hours cut. Yeah, we've also had to deal with nightmare tenants. Um, yeah. So yeah, make sure you watch it to the end as well, because at the end we'll give you all the tips that we've sort of learned from the lessons we've been through from all the struggles. So. Mm -hmm. Make sure you watch to the end, like, subscribe, do all of that stuff. Yeah, and if you haven't subscribed already, then what the hell are you doing? We've currently got 11 tenants, but there's a lot of news about coronavirus everywhere so Italy's on lockdown and to be honest looking like we're gonna have a lockdown um, and I really don't know what that's gonna mean for us like is all my tenants gonna lose their job are they gonna still get paid and if they don't what am I gonna do am I gonna be allowed to evict them uh, like I really don't know how this video is going to end, or this vlog. I'll either be bankrupt, or I'll find some way. I don't know. But yeah, so... I just don't know what's going to happen. Just going to keep trying getting more tenants for now. Just see what happens. People will only be allowed to leave their home for the following very limited purposes. Shopping, one form of exercise a day, any medical need, and traveling to and from work, but only where this is absolutely necessary and cannot be done from home. That's all. These are the only reasons you should leave your home. I know the damage that this disruption is doing and will do to people's lives, to their businesses, and to their jobs. If you don't follow the rules, the police will have the powers to enforce them. Right, so we've lost. Well, first we got we got quite a few tenants. We nearly had it filled up, and then this coronavirus type of thing happened. First person had to lose his job. Had to move back to Italy. Second pe people, just two people were moving because uh, of it. And we had four people lose their job yesterday. So yeah, we've lost seven tenants because of this coronavirus. So we're gonna come up with a few ways to get around this basically, because we still want to keep paying rent. Right, so we had a little meeting on the edge of a cliff to we'll sort of decide what we're gonna do to try and combat this corona. Mm. Something that's good to do is go to a, a nice open space to think. We live right by the beach, so yeah, we went on the cliff, looked out into the, into the sea. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make posters and flyers, and then we're gonna go to the hospitals that are around near the property and uh, yeah, post them up on the wall everywhere Ooh. saying that we've got rooms available. Another sick idea is we should put them somewhere near a hotel. Yeah. Because there might be people staying there that work at NHS or work somewhere that have to stay in that hotel for a month or something or two months. Yeah, so basically we just want to target the key workers and the NHS workers. Also, what we're gonna do is um, share it all onto Facebook groups and like, like Face Bay or local like Southampton for sale. But yeah, we're gonna put it on Airbnb because we just haven't done that before. I we'll call my mate who's having some success with that. He's basically gonna show us how to use it. 
Yeah, we're still basically, basically just gonna advertise like crazy still, yeah. like nothing's changing, except uh, we're just gonna be trying to target more the, the key workers and the NHS workers, because... Yeah. Um, it's just gonna be 10 times harder, we've just gotta work 10 times harder. Mm -hmm. But again, don't stress about things like that, just be positive, think of a solution. That's all you gotta do. When you're doing rent to rent, you need to pay the landlord. That's the service that you offer to provide. You offer guaranteed rent, so always make sure you pay your landlord. But a little tip I'd say, is you can call people like the council, see if they'll push back on your payments, or any other people like water or electric, see if you can do a payment plan. If you've lost quite a few tenants in one go, that'll help you out massively. So we're just gonna call the council, get some payments pushed back, and try and get more tenants in. Songs are now in quarantine. Doing that bit. Council, Dorset Council. Our telephone line opening times are 9am to 5pm Monday. It's been old for a while. But when you call the council, you get horror music. <laughs> Why is this so evil? <laughs> Transferred to Bournemouth. That was a much more better times over here. <laughs> Under the sea. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bail. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yes. I was wondering if there's anything that you can like, help me with um, with regards to like, paying council tax. Um, yeah, let's have a look for you. Do you, do you know your reference number? I don't, unfortunately. I just got it's always good to network with people in your area doing rent to rent so that you, you know, if you come up with a problem like this, you can speak to them and see what they're doing in this situation. So, yeah, that's what we did. I'm really offended at all. Yeah. I think next month will be the one. How comes? Well, it, it, it's going to affect badly next month because this month everyone's managed to pay their rent. Yeah. But then, then they've been working for most of the month as well. Yeah, yeah. That's, um, that's what sort of happened with me. Some people couldn't pay the rent, but we've like worked out an agreement where like they pay weekly and stuff. So, yeah. Little update. Has this coronavirus affected the rent to rents? Yes, they have. Um, with this whole lockdown thing, I've lost seven tenants because of it. So, for example, four of the tenants live up north with their family, their wife and children, but they work down south and they needed this place for like six to eight months. But um, now their job's closed for three months, so they're moving back up with their family. Um, I've got another guy who's lost his job for two months and he's having to move with his family. So, yeah, it's, ca it's caused a bit of a problem. So, what I'm going to do is, well, I've printed off a load of flyers. Now I'm going to go to the hospitals in Southampton and I'm just gonna stick these flies up on the walls. I'll show you them. So I'm gonna stick these up on the walls and it's for like, I was saying I've got rooms for hospital staff and key workers, but I can't really walk into the hospital like this. So I need to find a shop that's got face masks and gloves. And then yeah, blue tack as well. Shit, I need blue tack, so I need to do that. And then yeah, I'm gonna go to all the shops and I'm gonna go to all the hospitals and, and stick them up. Right, I found a face mask. Yeah, I can start sticking my flyers up and get these rooms filled. Now, um, yeah, in situations like this, obviously, that you know, you can't, it, you didn't know it was gonna happen. You can't control it. The last thing that you wanna do in this situation is get stressed and worried. You just gotta be finding solutions, trying to fix the problem. And if you're stressing and worrying, then you're not gonna get anywhere. You just gotta be positive and it will sort itself out. YouTube. So, um, I know my fellow viewers. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, one of the tenants that moved out, well, there was four of them that moved out, texted me saying, looks like we'll be wanting three rooms. Should we up, should be up there early evening. I'll keep you up to date through the rough time. And one person might be up even earlier. 
So if that's the case, give him the keys and then they will do a bank transfer. So uh, and it says, well, the missus will do it for me. Clueless on the online banking. Cheers, man. <laughs> so three tenants coming back in. That is an absolute lesson. Well, I'll be there in about half hour anyway, so. No worries, mate. Catch you in a bit. Right, so I'm quickly heading up to Southampton. So I told you that four of my tenants who live up north with their family and work in Southampton, they had to move out because they lost their jobs. They got a phone call on the weekend saying that, that their work needs them back. So three of them are moving back in today. So good news there. So yeah, I'm just on my way now. Just to drop on the keys. Biscuits, man. So you have a barbecue. Favorite neighbor's barbecue. <laughs> 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 Lovely job. <laughs> right, I don't know if you remember, but at the start, our first two tenants uh, were two people that we took on. Uh, they were jobless, so we gave them a chance. Um, and to be honest, they've just caused nothing but issues all the way. Uh, we've had tenants complaining about noise, arguing, uh, screaming. Yes. You know, bringing constant people around as well when like with this coronavirus times you can't even bring people around so um, they're completely ignoring government guidelines and everything uh, and on top of that they say that they can't pay rent anymore um, so we're going to go a victim. Get out of here! Don't you ever interrupt me while I'm conducting business. So yeah, hopefully that goes all right. It's going to be funny. Well, it's not going to be funny, it's going to be brutal but it's got to be done, isn't it? So let's go, let's do that. Uh, but on a positive note, I forgot to say, uh, we're also going up to Southampton today to move in another tenant who's a key worker. So yeah, that will be, that's some good news. Roads are dead. So as you've seen, I put all of them posters up in the hospital and uh, see if I can get any key workers or hospital staff, any, any, any NHS staff. And um, we had a phone call the next day from the manager and they just said that that's not how they work and, it, and he's destroying all of my posters. That was his words. Yeah, yeah that, that's, not, that's not how we're operating this at the moment, Stephen. They shouldn't have been up here fly-tipping posters. And, and all of the posters that have been put around the hospital will be yep. destroyed. But um, he obviously hasn't found all of them because I've been still getting calls from nurses saying that no one's helping them. And they've been staying in like travel lodge and stuff like that and no one's like helping them. Their work's not paying for their uh, place to stay. So uh, I, I had a phone call this woman saying that she was meant to be moving out, um, but now the, the landlord's not there and they move in. So she's been staying in a travel lodge and she's working in the hospital. She's paying like 50 pounds a night. So uh, I managed to come up with an, an agreement with her. She'll pay me for the rest of this month. And then when she gets paid, she can pay for the next month. So that's sorted. And uh, she also said that she's given up a few other doctors that are in the same situation, my number. So I said to her, if I can successfully get people moved in, I'll take 50 pounds off her rent for each one that, get, that come in. So yeah, so that's banging. Yeah. Um, also, we just went around to, to speak to those two people about evicting them. Um, they sort of took it kind of well. We just said to them, look, there's nothing we can help you with. So, you know, you messed it up. So you need to 
go. Um, no, we gave we gave them the the month's notice. We gave them more. Yeah, we gave them a month's notice. So and they've just caused nothing but problems. So that's it now. It is Done. what it is. Yeah. We've just got the keys off the two tenants we had to evict. So we're just going around there now to basically see what sort of state they left it in. Hopefully it'll be all right. Um, so yeah. Like this. I forgot to tell you something that happened when we kicked out those two people, um, but I'll tell you now because I think you find it quite funny. Um, basically, we was t telling the, one of the people that what the situation is, why he has to go, um, and then I said, "Hold on, where's your mate? Can you bring your mate down? Because uh, I need to tell him as well." He goes, "Yeah, sure." He just brings around some random guy that I haven't seen before and just sits on the sofa and I'm just like, who are you? Right? And it, he's just, I said, no, where's the, where's the guy that we moved in? Said, oh, he moved back to his country. So I was just like, okay, so, but you've never paid us any rent. We, you've never signed a contract with us. Yeah, basically what's happened is we moved two, two people in, two separate rooms. One of the people that we moved in just moved away to a different country and then they've just brought some other random guy in there. And, and now, well... Which we didn't know about. Yeah. First, firstly, I don't know who he is. He's never signed a contract with us and he he's, hasn't ever paid us any rent. And he said he can't pay us rent because of coronavirus. And he can't move out because of coronavirus. Yeah, so <laughs> we were literally just like... What are you doing? Sorry, chef. Yeah, do me a favor. Yes, yeah, chef. Take that off and fuck it up out of here. Get out! Get out! Hey, you! Leave the jacket and get out! Get out! Give me the jacket. I'm giving Give it. Give me the fucking jacket! Fucking useless sack of shit! Get out! Get out! Right, so you know we moved in those three tenants who originally lost their job and then they got their job back. Well, their work's just cut their hours, so they're only going to be in Southampton a few days a week. So they don't want to live there anymore if because uh, they're going to just try find somewhere cheaper or like a hotel that will only do a few day, a few days a week. So what we're going to try and do. Um, is do ring them up and see if they'll they'll accept a little deal. Um, so see what happens. Hello. Hello, Ivan. It's Dylan. Hello, Dylan. How are you? Yeah. So, so from what I understand, four, is it four of you are going to be coming back? Well, it's four of us coming back. Green's already been used to sit in a bus. He was Right. Yeah, yes, that's fantastic. Yeah. That's fantastic. And that's not ideal for you, it's not, at least for what's going on, it's not ideal for us. Yeah, no, I get that. It's not enough to try to get to the cheap 
Yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, it's, it's a nightmare for everyone, and it's you know, it's not an ideal situation. Yeah. But we want to do the best yeah. that we can to help. So, um, cool, would cool. yeah, I mean, you, you lot have been spawned since you have been there, so you know, that's, that's why I'm happy to yeah. do it. But all right, mate, nice one. Well, um, yeah, I'll get that sorted then, and then yeah, sweet. I'll um, I'll, I'll leave Graham the keys on Friday. No problem, No worries, mate. Catch you in a bit. Cheers. Wait. Little, little explanation so these tenants they uh, they live in up north in Newcastle they work in Southampton um, their jobs cut their hours so now they're only working four days a week they've got families up north so they've got to keep traveling they told me they didn't want to pay the full price uh, each week for the rent they can and find cheaper basically. yeah they, they'll be able to find cheaper so I'm happy on this occasion to reduce it because um, obviously it helps us as well I don't want to have four empty rooms when I can have those people in there um, so yeah, we've come to reduce their rent. Yeah, we've come to a, a little uh, agreement just for the time being. Be there most of the week anyway. Yeah, so for the time being, that's that's how it's going to be. But at least we haven't lost the tenants. Okay. We on the roll. Um, all right, today's Friday, the seventeenth of April. Going up to the properties to do a quick viewing, and then I've also got them four people moving back in, and I've done a little deal with them. It's raining quite heavy, so I don't know if you can hear me or not. Let me know in the comment section. So we're moving the four tents back in. Stephen's down there, who's through. Getting it all ready, so. Once these guys come in, that's six in this Avon house. We've got four in the other one. So yeah. Struggling, but we're we're pushing through. No. Not too early. Alright, well um I don't have the key. Alright, so we've got four people moving back in bit of a problem. I've lost one of the keys to one of their rooms. Right, take two. Let's see if that's the right one. Fucking hell. Let's get a little look then. Lovely. Let's catch it, yeah? Yeah. No problem, yeah, that's fine. Um, all right, well, I'm here now anyway, so yeah, just give me a text when you're outside. All right, mate. All right, I'll see you soon. Wait. All right, just got a message back from the lady that we've done a viewing with. Yeah, yeah, thanks for the viewing today. Could you tell me the price for the first room we saw and if I was to take it? When would you need the, the contract signed and what was it sent? Right, so we've got a couple more viewings to do today. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. All right, heading up to the properties now. Uh, I'm just going to quickly tidy them up. Um, hopefully they're not messy or anything. Uh, show someone around, hopefully move them in. Uh, so, yeah, I'll let you know how that goes. so we could do a little bit of cleaning so as you can imagine with the virus it's hard to get our cleaners there to clean up the areas every two weeks so, so we went there it was a bit of a mess it's understandable um so we've tidied that up the bloke's come and yeah he likes the first room he saw straight away he was like oh how much is this i want this room um and then he said, we asked him his situation, he started talking about where he's living and he also, he was basically saying that he didn't, he doesn't like it and the person that he's got, a lady that he's living with who's also not liking where she's living. Well, but what he said to us, he, he asked us, he goes, um, Cat, uh, have you got any other rooms that are slightly cheaper? So I asked him why, and he said he's got another woman that he lives with, doesn't want to pay much more than what she's paying at the moment, but wants to move out. So what I said to him is, 
think if we can get both of them in at one time, move both of them in together to two separate rooms and we can do a discount for both of them. And um, yeah, he, he, he liked the idea of it. He gave the woman a call and then went and picked her up. Went and picked her up within two minutes. He's sh showing her around. And he's pretty much completely selling it to her. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's like, oh, he's look, look at this. Like, oh my God, like, oh, there's a bathroom up there. Like, um, and she literally loves it. So I'm pretty sure that they're going to take it. If, obviously, if you're both happy to do that, then, then yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're happy our end as well. Um, so obviously, it will, it will just come down to whether or not you can cancel those, like the Virgin stuff. Um, yeah. Just about 100%. Mm -hmm. um, okay, cool. Um, yeah. what, if you were to take the rooms as well, when would you be looking to move? Is it sort of like as soon as possible or is there a date? That's, that's another thing I need to talk to about. Yeah. Back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. Yeah, ju just to let you know as well, um, if, if both of you need help, um, you, you can ask us as well. I mean, we've got a car, we can stuff stuff, uh, like put stuff in, uh, give you a hand okay. moving if you wanted to. Yeah, that might be. Yeah, that, I'll take that in consideration, man. Yeah, cool. Um, we appreciate it, and I will get back. Right, we've got a few in. I had to uh, give my mum's car back. So we're in a taxi. I had to get a train up. Jeez, to do some viewings. It's getting hard out here. <laughs> so we get a train. Do a little vlog in there. Sun's come out, which is lovely. Had to get a train there, and taxis, because my mum needed her car back. So basically, we done the viewing, and yeah, he he reserved the room, so he's paid the reservation fee, and he's gonna be moving in towards the end of the week. So yeah, with him moved in, that will be eleven tenants, and then we've got them two other people that are uh, that should be moving in. So. Uh, obviously they, they've got their, their issues they need to sort out. So yeah, once they've moved in, then that's 13 tenants out of 15. Yeah, then there's just two two more rooms left to fill. It's a lovely bit of news there. Anything else? What else? Oh yeah, you, you haven't subscribed yet? <laughs> um, what else, what else? I think you should hit that like button, don't you? Right, so that just about wraps it up. As promised, we'll give you a few tips from the lessons we've learned. Mm -hmm. Biggest one for me is thinking outside the box. So for example, um, it wasn't ideal, the, the, the virus and the lockdown stuff, but key workers still needed to work. So we targeted key workers to live in the, uh, in the rooms that we've got. Yeah, one thing that I'd say is literally market everywhere, like, we was only really using Facebook Marketplace and Spare Room, but now we're on Airbnb. And basically I've been sharing on all, every single groups on Facebook. And so a lot of, we've actually getting quite a lot of interest through Facebook now, so. Mm -hmm. right, another big one for me is you should be thinking of the solution rather than thinking of the problem. So. Especially with so much negative stuff. Yeah. Everywhere. So it's, it's, it's hard to, stay focused and you know not be not be negative when really if you keep a positive mindset and think of the solution rather than dwelling on the problem another thing i'd say is just be really open to making deals with people like we've <clears throat> we've had to help people out with their rent um, by reducing it slightly because they can't stay there the whole time because of their hours of being cut um you know we Change, change people from paying monthly to paying weekly for the time being. Yeah, we tell people if you know any of your mates, we'll, we'll ref give you some referral money. Um, just, you know, just make deals with people, make something happen. Don't, mm -hmm. don't be so 
strict with everything. Just see see what you can do. Uh, it might help you out. Um, um, also, be willing to help people. So if if they if they can't if if there's any struggle with them moving in, for example, they've got loads of stuff to move, and you can help them. Just help them because mm -hmm. no other person is going to be offering that. So they're more likely to move with you. Um, <coughs> Incredible. But yeah. Um, yeah, so hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe as well because we've got some sick videos in the pipeline. Can't say too much about them, but yeah, make sure you subscribe. Most, most important thing you have to do is make sure you have fun. <laughs>